So Tyrese and DJ Envy. I did not know that they were like they had some type of like beef. Some type of like not beef, but like um what's the word called? They had words. So remember when Tyrese was going off and he was doing the congratulations and the what more do you want from me? Uh, you know that type of shit? Apparently he was drugged the fuck out. He was on meds. So he was gone. So he's on meds, drugged the fuck out. They realized that... Um, so he went to the breakfast club. Right, spoke to DJ Envy, and DJ Envy was on some dumb shit. You know what? Let me let me. I can paraphrase this one because I don't want to hear that nigga's voice right now. DJ Envy's voice because he sounds like a sensitive little DJ Envy. I respect you as a man. I respect you and your family. I respect everything about you, bro. But sometimes, bro, you can be a little bit of an emotional, sensitive ass, you know? You know, like, I'm not going to call you a bitch. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not doing that. I have respect, enough respect for you not to call you a bitch. But you can be very sensitive and emotional and light-skinned, brother. Like... Like, when Charlemagne calls you a waffle-colored Negro, like, he's for real, for real. Like, you flaky, dog. Fam, if you buttery and flaky pause, if buttery as in that, you know, guns and butter, like, you get, I don't know, money, I don't know. Anyway, so, and he gets a lot of money, but he's flaky. Anyways, because of the whole, like, actually, we're not going to talk. Okay, we're not going to talk about the, actually, you know what? I'm not biased. This nigga's going through a lawsuit and all that shit, but whatever. We're not going to talk about that right now. Tyrese and DJ Envy. Charlamagne. So I remember when Charlamagne the God and DJ Envy, they were roasting the shit out of Tyrese. They're like, he's in our group chat. They were getting at him during that whole time. Turned out Tyrese was on some, was on some, was on some like next, next type of shit, right? Tyrese needed help. Um, he was on, he like, I think meds, like he was on some type of meds. So he was just going crazy. Apparently the, like basically the meds didn't work with him. He said he doesn't remember that period of time. Basically. He barely remembers that period of time. So then there's him apologizing to them and saying like, yo, my bad about that, blah, 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 you know, for a while and out. And which is understandable, right? But then the whole... So DJ Envy's like, yo, bro, the, one of the reasons why I blocked you was because you were disrespectful to my wife. And then once DJ Envy said that, I'm like, oh, fuck, Tyrese must have said something disrespectful because this nigga DJ Envy, and I, now I feel like he uses it as in like a, an excuse to be mad at. Yo, DJ Envy, just be mad at the person or don't fuck with the person. Stop putting your, you, you were disrespectful to my wife or it affected my family. It affected, that's what you do. I'm calling that shit the fuck out. I don't give a fuck what you have to say about that. DJ Envy always uses his family as a way to get mad at people. I've never seen DJ Envy just fucking mad at something. Everything, it would involve his family. Oh, you know what? You pissed me off and then you were affecting my family and then my children. Then my, it's like, bro. You're mad at the person. We get it. So just talk about the person and why you're mad at them. You were mad at Tyrese about some... But actually, no, 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 no. Let me dial that back. Let's rewind. You're not mad at Tyrese. No. No, 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 no. Tyrese is going through some shit and you didn't want to help him. Do I have to say that again? You did not want to help him. You, DJ Envy, 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 did not want to help the guy that saved your fucking marriage. Tyrese saved your fucking marriage. You were the one that was... No, I'm going to say it because... This makes no sense. 
and I have no like ace in the hole. This makes no sense. If my nigga, okay, if I hooked up my, okay, if my nigga was going through some shit with his wife, right? They're going through it with his wife, with his wife, and he does some dumb shit with to his wife, and his wife is like, I don't, I don't forgive this nigga, right? And let's just fucking say, let's just say, right? I barely know this nigga. We're kind of friends, but we're not we we're not really friends like that. But, you know, we're cool and shit. We're cordial, right? And let's just say. Let's just say, right? Hold on. There we go. And let's just say. We're cordial and shit. And then the nigga goes through some shit with his wife. Goes through some shit with his wife. Right? He cheats on his wife or whatever, right? And guess what you do, fam? Guess what you do? Guess what you do? You help the nigga out. You book the finest, I don't know, hotel, whatever for them. You fucking... What's the, what's the other words? Like, you go... Like, you literally go out your way for them. You, 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 you book... A, you, I can't sing, so you, if you can sing... And you're a famous singer, you you know what I mean. You, you get you get a famous singer, or you sing whatever, serenade, serenade the moment. You know what I mean? Like literally, like you help this nigga out with his marriage, make sure that he cheated on his girl publicly. Everyone knows that he cheated, but you help this nigga out, and now they're still together, and you were one of the pivotal moments in their life to make. That shit come back together. Now I'm going through some shit. And I helped you out. I'm going through some shit with my marriage. And my my family. And you can at least call me. Talk to me. And be like yo is there anything you need. Holler at me. That Nothing like that bro. Not even an olive branch. An extended hand or anything bro. I understand why Tyrese is cheese, you know what I mean? Why? And everyone's like, yo, Tyrese has the motherfucking receipts, all right? So, if you guys want to look up the whole thing, but there's a whole clip, but I'm going to play one of the clips right now. Right now. I'm going to play it right now. Hold on, once I find it. It was a... Nigga, did it already refresh, nigga? Yeah, damn. I, you know what I mean? Like... If you look up Tyrese right now, it says receipts. I don't even know that, that his way, because I, I don't even know that that his wife actually feels his way. But it's it's okay to milk the psych man. So you said a bunch of shit that you, well, you reckless. You know what? I'm still on my apology tour. Y'all seeing everything I spoke about it in the, in the interview. But I literally just had to pull up some receipts. And I had to go and look at my phone and say, when is the last time we were actually communicating and does anything about our communication feels like feel like i actually disrespected his wife or him because whether i was on psych meds or not that's you're not describing me you're not describing me as a man yeah right that was the most hurtful thing ever charlamagne said well, what did he say i want to box you in the mouth he he ha ha so Listen, Tell I'm not going to show y'all what we were texting about. I just want to show you the death. That says DJ Envy wife, DJ Envy, mission. Right? That's when I was on the mission to help in any way I could to step in and help his marriage. And then, if you look here, that says August 23rd, 2022. This is a text chain with me, Envy, and his wife. Not 2017, 2018, where I supposedly disrespected his wife and I was blocked. Last year, nigga. I got receipts. If your wife blocked me, if you blocked me, how are we communicating about anything? August 23rd, 2022. Now, Let's go even a little further. Let's go, nigga. Here is some communication directly with your first lady. Okay? The last thing we were texting scrolling. about That's him scrolling. was 
We were actually trying to figure out, because I told y'all I've been very uncomfortable about talking about what God used me to do and blah, blah, blah. Like, I did it as from my heart. I didn't know him. I don't have a history. He ain't my brother. We ain't family. We ain't childhood homies. So it was such a random assignment, and I ended up doing it. But for him to go on the airwaves and say, I wanted to box you in the mouth, because you disrespected my wife. My wife blocked you, I blocked you, and I just unblocked you a month ago. That's a fucking lie, bro. How does that make sense? No, let's think about that. How the fuck does that make sense? I saved your marriage just to disrespect your wife while I'm on psych meds. And when I was on psych meds, I was moving on autopilot. So my autopilot would disrespect you and your wife when I naturally did that out of the naturally of my heart, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of cases like, so for instance, 